in the following episodes, my pants might be falling down during the making of these shows, of these episodes. Well, the, the camera's not going to be looking at your pants falling down, right? They're not going to be focused on your pants. No. But just in case, I just want to let people know and warn them that my pants might be falling down during the episode, make, uh, the next episode of this show. In the last exciting episode of the Insane Boarding and Freak Show, your host, me, the Insane Boarding and Freak. Yo, come on, it's glory, boy. My pants fell down! What the hell was that? My pants fell down. No, they didn't. You just... You, liar, liar. Your pants are on fire. That's what happened. Your pants went on fire. What is going on here? I don't know. Just This is all improv. If you haven't noticed, folks, now you've noticed... It's me, Ben, the Insane Board Game Freak. Live from the highway, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, yo come on, score, everybody. Don't attempt to adjust your TV set. <coughs> you didn't get the game yet? What the... Oh, God. Excuse me, folks. I gotta climb over these mounds of board games. Oh, man. They thought you actually took the highway to go get the game. <laughs> Road safety fun. America's number one driving game. In this episode, let's drive to the board game room. Wait, let's... We can't drive into the board game room. Why not? Because the car is too big to fit in the board game room. Oh. All right, fine. Let's take two. Action. Live from the highway. It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, score, everybody. Dun -dun 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 -dun. They, they know all that already, Ben. Let's get on the show. In this episode, let's drive quick to the board game room. But if we drive quick to the board game room, then we're going to crash into the board game room. Then we're going to crash into all and break up all these board games. The, the board games. Now, how are we going to say this? Before my pants fall down. Oh. <laughs> you, you can't see nothing. It only goes up to here from here. I got it. I, I got it. 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 This will throw them off. Okay. In this episode. The board game called... Let's drive. Road safety fun game. Quick to the board game room. I, I got you that time. That 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 work it works. It works. Where are they going? They're drowning away because your show sucks. <laughs> it does not shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I'll tell you to shut up back. Shut up back. Not, just get to the board game room. They're not really actually driving that car into the board game room, are they? The dog's going to have a problem with you if you don't get to the board game room. Yeah, he's right. Shut up, kid. Don't tell me to shut up. <laughs> oh god I, I, I'll be here all day doing this to, to the board game room I, I, I believe me I, I, I never tell people or kids to shut up don't worry about it I'm fine I'm fine I'm not a whack job let's get to the board game room just get to the board game room who do you tell me what to do when you're the ones whose pants are falling down Get your pants back up. We're going to get to the board game room. Besides, what are your pants doing down anyway? Freaking crazy nut job. 
Don't worry, folks. My pants really didn't fall down. Um, I just had to use the uh, facility that I stopped off on the side of the road. And, uh, ne never mind. Yeah, never mind. Get to the board game room. Come on. Finish setting up the game, but I don't know how the heck I can actually really take advice from a guy who talks to himself during the board game review show. Too bad I didn't have the laughing box for that one. Are you done using the bathroom yet, Vin? Yeah, I'm back. Are your pants up? They're not gonna see shit. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's let's drive the game. Uh, the, the, wait, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna go through that um whole bit again. No, but it's at the board. Just 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 tell them the game, Vin. Let's drive the game, the board game. Okay, so now we're not gonna drive the game into anywhere. You can't possibly do it. It's not scientifically possible. However, I said it. Um, I did this game. I, I think I, I forget if I did this game, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I did. But I, um, I don't know. Uh, whatever. I'm doing it again because I like the game so much. This game is really cool and fun. <laughs> All right. So in this game, you're gonna get the game board here, okay? And um, you're gonna get uh this highway that you're gonna be driving on, okay? So basically, the game like um. It revolves around like um people you know it's like you're playing like 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 as as you're going on the board the other players are trying to keep attention to what you're doing and you got to pay attention to what you're doing too because then you'll be running into obstacles and stuff or crashing into obstacles crashing into things you you're going to be getting um pulled over by cops and stuff and uh you know, you gotta pay tickets or, you know, go to DMV or whatever you gotta do. It, it's it's a road safety game. It, it It's not only just a road safety game. It's the... Where is it again? Oh. It's the road safety fun game. It's America's number one driving game. The board game. Wait, is this upside down? The board game. Alright, so now, in, in this game, you're gonna get... They heard all that, man. You're going to get these cars here. These play market pieces here. Pretty cool looking cars. Probably from the 50s or 60s or something. Uh, the game was made back in 1960 something. I believe. Uh, 1969. <laughs> <clears throat> Must have been a good year. Uh, so you're going to get these spinner here. And then... Uh, yeah, like the song, folks. Like the summer of 69. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from, uh, who is it? I always get them both mixed up. That's um, Dave Matthews. No, it's it. Brian Adams or... Um, uh, who the hell is the other guy? Now I, Brian Adams sang this song. Um, Richard Marks. Didn't sing a song, but for some reason, I, I always get them since I was, you know, since, since way back then. I always got them confused, mixed up, Brian Adams and uh, Richard Marks. Anyway, so um, you're going to get the spinner here, all right? You play a mark the pieces here. You get the spinner here. You got local uh, road driving, okay? And uh, you got 16 to 25 miles per hour. And then uh, you're going to be going 21 to 25 miles per hour. And you get to move. These are the spaces that you're going to be moving. 6 to 10 to 8 spaces. On a highway, though, it's going to be different. Highways are going to be going 46 to 45, uh, 55. And then, yeah, right. I know. I know. There's another song. I don't want to drive 55. Well, I, I hate it, too. Uh, um, I'm having a lot of brain farts. It must be because... No, it's not because your pants fell down. <clears throat> Great. I, I I don't know how I'm gonna be going to work tomorrow, so um you know because I gotta find a belt, and I don't think there's a, there's a Walmart and Target that's still open by the time I'm done with these episodes. That's why I said the following. Whatever. Let me get on the instructions. So anyway, um, Sammy Hagar. Yeah, I don't want to drive 55. Okay. Uh. So that's the spinner right there, and then you can also use it as a case to put all your pieces of the uh, game board in there. All right, you can get money. 
okay, for uh, this stuff, this game. Fives, tens, twenties. Uh, come on, what else? That that's basically it. Okay. And then these cards you're gonna get. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna get these cards. Cool. Bonus cards, secret cards, and you can become the champion with this card. You get the champion award. For driving performance, okay? That's what you're going to get when you win. You get luck cards, okay? These are the luck cards, all right? So bad luck, go back six miles. Your gas tank is almost empty. Go back to last gas tank. That sounds like my life, okay? So that's my luck. Uh, <laughs> you're going to get... It's fun to make fun of myself. Uh, bonus cards, okay? You have one headlight working. Uh, what is it with these songs and music now? The wallflowers, and we can get it home with one headlight. <laughs> Repair it, add eight miles on trip, drive 14 miles, obeying all road laws. You have one headlight working. What the <laughs> oh man, yeah, the, 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 the wallflowers are with me on this one. Thanks, guys. Okay, cool. You, you, you got my back with this review of this game. Okay, so yeah, when, when I played this game, you know. I'll, 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 next time I play this game, I'll probably blast that song from the Wallflowers. Um, so you're going to start here, okay? And then you're going to go make your way around the board. You're going to stop at a stop sign. You got to make sure you spin 25 miles an hour. If you don't, and you break your law. And if you and or other people are paying attention, then you got to take, um, you know, a card and, um, see what happens, okay? So, um... Red light, green light, one, two, three. Okay, so you can stop and get gas at the gas station. All right, you got to go with bridges and stuff. Uh, Just got to follow the signs. Do not pass. You don't pass. That's it. You got to yield to people. So just because you spun a certain amount of spaces to move at a certain amount of speed doesn't mean that you're going to have to be doing that. You're going to have to detect it. And then catch yourself doing it and make sure you're doing the right thing going around the board. That's pretty much basically it. That's the game. So, um, let me go on with the instructions now. You're going to have to, uh, have all players start here. So all players are going to start at the start space. Okay, so players are going to start at the start space. I just set up, for example, the cars around so boom, boom, zoom, boom. really fun game to play you know um I, I i think it's cool it's different it's you know typical like vintage 60s style game too um you know what i mean by that because the artwork and everything and the colors and the way the car play markers are and the cards you know it, it it's a cool fun game i like it so um you're going to be going around uh, driving, just obeying the laws. And if you don't, then there's going to be penalties to pay. And that's why you got money to pay off those penalties. And, uh, you know, you might get into an accident in this game. Um, you know, stuff like that. You know, uh, you, you, your car might get stolen, maybe. Who the heck knows? Uh, so now, um, the object of the game, okay, is to be the first driver to complete the trip with the most money as a result of having paid the least amount of fines. All right? So, um, let's drive. All right, so start your engines, because here we go. Okay, so now there's going to be uh, six different colored cars, play money, bonus, luck, and secret cards, plus a, a champion award card for being the, yeah, being the champion. The, 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 the champion, okay? Champion. All right, so now a double spinner... With the two dials, okay, one for the highway driving and the other for local driving. The outer ring on each dial shows the speed at which a player dr drives during their turn, okay? So the inner ring shows the number of spaces, miles, a player travels in that turn. So the game board uh, has roads and highways and all this other cool, fun, crazy stuff, actual road conditions encountered while driving a car. All right, each space on the board uh, is equal to one mile in distance. So you're going to go, you know, one, two miles. Okay, one, two, three miles, all right? And that's it. So 
These are real cool mud sharks, aren't they? Look at them go. <laughs> so, now, to set up the game, each player selects a car and plays at start, okay? Uh, each player takes 140 bucks, $140 in play money, four $20 bills, four $10 bills, and four $5 bills, okay? Separately shuffle and place the bonus, luck, and secret cards and place them printed side down, okay, near the game board. All right, so you don't see what the hell they are and what the hell you're doing and all the other stuff. And the champion card you don't get till somebody wins a game and that's the person that gets it. All right, they're going to get it all right. All right, so now... um. So now any player may start followed by the player to the left. All right. So, yeah, I like that. Not that, you know, the first person who got gas, not by eating beans, of course, but, you know, the first person that got gas, you know, um, you could cheat now. You can get ahead of the game. <laughs> if you, you can knock them all out. All the players get knocked out and you be the winner. And everybody's going to wake up five hours later from all your powerful gas that they smell, that stench, and be like, who? Well, what the hell just happened? <laughs> oh, you won? How the hell did you win that? You fell asleep. The, 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 the game's not boring. The game's fun. Look, it's a secret. What'd you get from the secret card? I got gas. Oh. <laughs> All right, so now the rules in turn, okay? So now in your on your turn, a player spins a dial of their choice, okay, to determine the distance and speed that they will travel. If the spinning a player has the choice of driving by the spinner or choosing a secret card. Okay, if the player chooses to draw a secret card, well then someone's got a secret to let out. Uh cuz he or she must follow the instructions in that card now. Okay, and then um they should keep the instructions on the card a secret. All right, so only you can see what you got to do. So now you got to say to yourself, well self I gotta drive 12 miles obeying all road laws. You have been driving for two hours. This one goes out to my boss there. We gotta try letting the guys who we, uh, we work for <laughs> to go to speed limit. Maybe we should have a road test with this game. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's just a joke. Laugh about it. All right. Ah, 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 ah. All right. So now I know I'm crazy. So you, you, you're gonna... um. Follow the, the rules and regulations of the game like, like that, and uh, you should keep the instruction of the card a secret. Now, after you've made your cho uh, your move, any other player may challenge you now, okay? Uh, I'll tell you that about in Rule 5, a couple of rules from here now, um, on number 3. So, if challenged, the player reads the secret card out loud. Now, if while driving, a player encounters a situation which would break any driving rule... Uh, they should stop on that space, okay? So, let's just say, for example, you know, you caught, uh, you know, Red doing something bad and wrong, or whatever. They didn't go to speed limit or something, or they passed. You know, you can you can tell them off and stuff and try to get them to pay for that penalty now. All right, and they're going to lose money out of that way. So now, if while drawing a player encounters a situation which would break any drawing rule, they should stop at that space, Okay. That they were encountered on that rule breaking bit. Okay. So now, should the player uh, proceed and break one of the driving rules, any of the other players may challenge them. Okay. So, challenges. Okay. Here's the, the number five now. Challenges. Any player may challenge a driver after he has completed his tur or her turn by calling out. You got to call them up on their shit on that. Okay. Um, pull over, please. And they're going to say, who the heck are you supposed to be? The, the board game police? Well, a matter of fact, there yeah, I am. So, you know, you, you got to wear the badge and everything. And, you know, but that's impersonating an officer. I'm not going to do that. You're playing the game. The board game. <laughs> Dude, stop. Come on. So now, um, any player may challenge a driver after he has completed his turn. By calling out, pull over, please. Okay. They then tell that that driver who made the mistake or the the, the bad move what driving rule that they was they, they broke. Okay. So now if the challenger is right, um, then uh, that challenger is going to collect the fine, you know, the money for the fine for breaking the, that driving rule. Okay. And then the driver must return his or her auto to the starting space. 
you know, the car back to the starting space for that turn. Okay, so now if the challenger is wrong and the driver has operated legally, the challenger must pay the driver 10 bucks for not knowing the driving rules and being a stupid moron. And then they're going to have to wash the dishes and do the laundry and stuff and become the dunce with a dunce cap on their head in the corner. Dude, stop making this up. Come on, just go. All right. So now the driver must return and, you know, go back to start, whatever. And now other players may also challenge if they think there were other rules broken. Okay. So now you're going to get other players saying, no, no, no. But I also saw this and that. A lot of tattletaling, a lot of tattletales in this game. And I've seen the result at the end of this game become into a, you know, a bar brawl or a fist fight, okay? And they, they broke bottles over their heads and stuff. You don't want to be playing this game with um, with glass around. B believe me, it's, it's, you don't. Okay, you don't. It's, it's Don't play this game with sore losers, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm only kidding, but just, yeah, well, I'm not kidding, yeah, actually. Just, um... Play the game and have fun, okay? It's just a game, man. Or a woman, whoever's playing the game. When a player passes gas at station... But, no, when a player passes gas... But, when a player passes a gas station, they may stop and get a bonus card, okay? So whenever you pass a, a gas station, you stop there, and you get a bonus card, and then you read it, Okay? Okay, you are a courteous driver. Each player gives you a ten dollars. Well, that's freaking cool, man. I can go for that. So, hey, sometimes you can get a hustle out of playing it. I'm not recommending it, but you know, just, just you know, for candy, you could get a hustle for candy for playing this game. Who's gonna buy pizza next, or whatever? Just don't play around and drink around the board games, and no drinking and driving while playing this board game. Okay, so. Any player may challenge a driver, okay? Now, the bonus cards when a player passes a gas station, he may he or, her, may, he or she may pay, stop and get a bonus card, okay? Now, uh, they must then proceed the full legal distance of their spin plus what they may gain on the bonus card, okay? So the card is then placed at the bottom of the deck and all drawing is done on bonus cards is legal and may not be challenged, okay? So that's that. Excuse me. So now, um, uh, when a player passes over or lands on a lucky spot on the road, uh, he or she picks up a, one luck card, and uh, they must follow the instructions on that card after um, they've gone the full distance of that turn. All drawing on the luck cards is legal and may not be challenged, okay? General rules, okay? Uh, two or more autos... Cars may stop on the same space on the highway. All right, that's cool. Unless it has a solid line down the middle. And in this case, only the first car to reach that line in that space can stop there. Other cars must wait behind it. Because otherwise, you know, see, like, do not pass the solid line or whatever. Okay. So, no passing. Now, um, cars may not legally pass another car on curves. Or where there is a solid line in the middle of the highway, okay? When a player reaches... Just think about when you're regularly driving. Well, nowadays, people don't really care when they drive, you know? They all drive like... Um, uh, never mind. I, I'm not going to say it. They, people make mistakes, I'll just say. Okay? All right. So now, cars may not legally pass another car in curves and where there's a solid line in the middle of the highway. Uh, when a player reaches a yield sign, okay... Player reaches a yield sign. Uh, um, you got yield, so um, uh, you must announce that you're slowing down, and failure to announce that you're slowing down for the yield sign or for the stop sign results in a fine. The driver must stop whenever they reach a stop sign. When a driver reaches a railroad crossing, they must stop. Okay. When a driver fails to stop at a service station when repairs are needed, they're penalized. By a uh, $20 fine if challenged, okay? If the people are paying attention. So, um, the finish line does not have to be reached by exact count, all right? So, don't worry about that. Now, winning the game. The game ends when all drivers reach the finish space. Each counts it, their money. Uh, each player counts their money, and the driver with the most money wins the game and is given the, the champion!
champion award card, okay? The champion award card, cool. So now, um, driving rules. All right, uh, speeding, 25 bucks, violation of penalties. Passing on the curve, 25 bucks. Here, I'll just show you that. So, you know, that's the drawing rules and violation of penalties. And then I'll tell you my final thoughts about the game. Note, drivers must stop behind school buses and wait for the next turn, regardless of in instructions on any car that they may be following. Remember, in addition to paying a penalty, a driver also returns uh, their car to its starting space for that turn. Uh, any questions, you can just call these people, whatever, this guy named Quincy, I don't know, in Massachusetts. Uh, that's pretty much basically it, and the game was born in 1969. Uh, it was born, yeah, some other board game gave birth, gave birth to another board game. Uh, they, it was born, yeah, right, made in 1969, and never mind, I'm not going to go through a whole thing with, you know, things with board games. And Anyway, final thoughts, what do I think about the game? If I run out of time, sorry. All right, so final thoughts. Now, what do I think about this game? Wow, 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 wow! I love this game. This game's great. It's a cool game. Um, anyone who drives or rides an automobile will enjoy playing Let's Drive. Uh, you know, players try to drive their automobiles correctly through, you know, streets and road traffic, whatever, and weather conditions and stuff like that. You know, um. They also act as a safety officer, checking on drivers, uh, you know, of other, other players. Uh, so this game will help your child and, you know, and yourself develop good highway safety uh, attitudes even before um, they're old enough to drive or, you know, you, you get your license. Uh, the, the game, um, this must have been Mr. Wendell's, Mr. Walt, Mr. Wallace, 8 of 1972. So... That that's pretty cool. <laughs> so um God bless Mr. Wallace. <laughs> I got the game and it's a fun game. Uh what do you call it? Um must have been a driver's ed teacher or a teacher or something like that. Who knows? But anyway, it's it. But uh I like to give a shout out to uh you know, 